Who? Who's there? Rebels! We're under attack! To arms!
some time before our support arrives. There's no time to speak to everyone. We should gather a small group who can serve as our heralds. to listen to you spout nonsense. We are not the enemy. Or are you so taken with your Galgastani masters you have forgotten? There's no call for such rancor, Vice. We should hear them out. Suppose we do fight. What then? Conflict will only lead to more suffering. At least here, the winds of war do not howl in our ears, and our stomachs do not grumble. Shelter, fodder, you enjoy all the luxuries of cattle. Doubtless you will, so long as you remain. But do you not long to be free, to live as men? You are Wallister. Where's your pride? Leave as you came. Let us live out our lives in peace. Today it's the resistance. Tomorrow, who knows what. But you all sing the same tune. My son sounded much as you do. The war claimed him six months ago. Will your violence bring him back? We want no part of your fight. You're doomed to fail any road. Galgastan is too powerful. Heroes you may be, but the pride always comes before the fall. Forgive me, I was delayed. Might I have a quiet word? I overheard your conversation. These people do not convince easily. No matter. We feared it would come to this. Listen to me. There's something you must do. You must... You must kill them. All of them. Spare no one. What? The Duke foreknew this outcome. These are his orders. But, but why this? If you know even one reason, I would hear it. Because his grace demands it. If the people of Balmamusa rise up as we ask, well and good. But the words of these children will not be enough to move them to take up arms. When they refuse, you are to kill them under guise of Galgastani agents. Leave no survivors. You, you can't be serious. You order us to kill our own. Calm, Leonard. You've a good head on your shoulders. Consider our situation. If we are to defeat Galgastan, the Wallister must unite as never before. If it appears the Galgastani destroyed Balmamusa, our people in the remaining camps will rally to our banner. 
But, your, your grace... Nor will opposition in the Galgastani ranks remain unmoved by such outrage. Balbatos will be beset by foes without and within. We will finally have both the opportunity and the moral imperative to rid the world of the creature. Denim and the others will not do this quietly. You will see to that as well, when the time comes. You are with me then. It is the only way. The future of our people depends on it. Stop this madness! What virtue can there be in taking innocent lives? You are yet young. Your heart is pristine, though I dare say your hands have seen their share of bloodshed. All that is required of you is to plunge those hands deeper. Bloody them not for survival, but for your cause. If you cannot do that, you do not belong in this battle. Denim! Denim, are you all right? Vice, with us, quickly! Vice? What are you waiting? No! Kill them, Vice. All three of them. What good are kinsmen who won't lift arms for our cause? I'll tell you, they're as good as dead. If it's retribution you fear, fear not. They'll all be in their graves, thanking you for martyring them. I, uh, I don't believe what I'm hearing. If this is a jest, it is in terrible humor. Quiet, Castle. You've made a fool of me long enough. You remember that hair I snared in Arlena's days, Castle. You gave it to your brother to eat without so much as a word of thanks. That hair was for you. But you made a fool of me. You as well, Denim. You, you vex me. Always have. Whatever gave you the right to command me? The Duke gave such an order, Leonard. And you would carry it out? Ours is to follow orders. I swore an oath before the Duke, before the realm. You'd call such bloodshed service? Since when have we used our kinsmen's lives as leverage? Our Lord has betrayed us all. To think I was willing to give my life for such a man. What a fool I was. I did not think you want to abdicate duty, Ravnus. To break faith with Lord and Realm. I break no faith. I renounce the Duke. I renounce you all! I always thought to find you at my side the day the Wallister won their freedom. But if men of our own blood would stand against us, why should I expect more of you? Am I not Wallister? Wallister descended from Galgastoni's stock. But the fault is mine. I should not have placed such faith in one of mingled blood. How dare you! Hear me, fierce warriors of Galgastan! We made this province to give shape to the peace we all want! Yet Ronwe in Almorica and his rabble have trampled upon that peace and lifted their swords once again. We will not sit here and wait for death to visit us! We'll show them what it means to be Galgastani! Root out the Wallister in town and butcher them like the swine they are! Leave not one alive! To battle! Vice to me. Leave this to the others. We take the town. Wait! Leonor! Vice! Kiel, Ravnus. You yap like the mongrel you are. Leonor, do not think you can escape judgment for your deeds.
Do not let them harm the villagers. We will defend them with our own lives should it come to that. Go!
Next will be your turn. I'll kill you by my own hands. I swear it! There is blood on my hands. How long till it lies on my heart? Three weeks had passed since the massacre at Balmamusa. The tragedy had been as flint to fire for the Wallister, bringing them together as never before. Indeed, it proved more than enough to inspire to action those Gargastani who bore no love for Balbatos. Soon, the Gargastani had split into two camps, placing Hierophant Balbatos in the most precarious position. Balbatos essayed to silence the voices of dissent, but as cities began to fall to the Duke's resistance, he was obliged to retreat to the safety of his keep in Coritani. As Gargastan faltered, more joined the Wallister resistance. Soon the rebel ranks had grown to fully threefold their former number. It seemed only a matter of days before Balbatos would be brought out before his own walls to answer for what he had done. As for Denham, through the Duke's scheming he had been named a mastermind of the massacre, and a price put on his head. Resistance fighters and headhunters alike scour the high roads for him while Denham finds temporary solace in the port town of Ashton. Don't go on blaming yourself. You did all you could. I did nothing. I couldn't save them. Denham, what if we left this place, sailed far away and never looked back? We've been through this. Father must be avenged. Besides, how could we leave things as they are? Now, we stay and see this through. We owe it to those who died at Balmamusa. <sighs> at it again, are you? Give your quibbling a rest and look at this. As the Duke grows more impatient, you grow more valuable. Up to 30,000 goth now. Salt in our wounds. We are criminals before all the world. Justice and war seldom keep company. In the heat of battle, all are criminal and all are innocent. Only later does the victor decide who is which. That's the way of the world. And since I lost, since I failed Balmamusa, I am made a criminal for it. All the more reason to be on the winning side. Come, enough navel-gazing. We need to go. Go? Where? The Wallister army gathers southwest of the Burnham Massif in the Sanji Weald. Of course. Galgastan doesn't stand a chance of repelling the resistance. Not now. You touch it with a needle. Balbatos' days are numbered. I dare say Wallace to victory is in the air. In which case, we shall remain outlaws. All the more reason to be on our way. Something must be done. Word reaches me that the Holy Knight Lancelot has taken up position behind the Wallister, on Tynemouth Hill to be exact. With the Wallister massed elsewhere, Tynemouth will have but light defense. What better place to break through the line? Of course. Lancelot will aid us. I am certain. Then we move. There's not more to be done in this wretched place. 